incomplete. That over on the far side. They'll give Johnson a game of three on the play. They'll get the carry right up the middle, and he'll stroll into the end zone for the touchdown. Well, they want to attack the middle of Washington State's defense with a Jeremiah, uh, with Jeremiah Johnson and LeGarrette Blunt is yet to come. That was a great job by the offensive line creating a, a huge hole that, uh, that I could run through, Joe. I mean, that, that's the offensive line. You credit the offensive line, low pad level, getting off the ball, driving them back. <laughs> Easy run for Jeremiah Johnson. Matt Evenson on for the extra point. And his kick is up and it is through into the Duck fans there beyond the goalposts in Oregon with a really important first strike here in Pullman. They lead it 7 to nothing, and we'll return to Martin Stadium after this on the Oregon Sports Network. The defense together. Slowly goes up and changes the play at the line, or maybe the protection scheme. He's going to throw it. Looking down the field, throws it to the end zone. Jason Williams for the touchdown. What a throw by Masoli and Oregon with three minutes gone in the game has two touchdowns. Masoli's release, and, and we've talked about it about this before, Joe. It's 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 just like Dan Marino. It is so quick and he throws so hard. I mean, this is just throwing the football with the authority. And if you're a defensive back, you're looking at the play action. Now you see, you can't see Masoli. He's 5'11", but then here comes the football. It's out, and it's in the hands of Jason Williams. Not a great velocity there, too, as the extra point is up and good. And it's 14 to nothing. Hey. Game of three. Scott goes to the far side. Second down and seven. Blunt with the ball, brings a tackle, LeGarrette Blunt into the end zone, touchdown Oregon! Three quick ones for the Ducks! Well that's jumping all over this football team. Washington State is stunned right now, and it's when you when you have a young quarterback that has to take over, and you're down 21-0, to zero. look at the, the blocking. Now, Blunt did a great job of just kind of bouncing in and out of that hole, then accelerating through the hole, and again, he breaks so many tackles. I mean, there's so much yardage after contact. It's unreal. Matt Evenson off for the extra point. His kick is up, and it is good. And Matt Evenson's going to have to put his foot in the ball again. And Oregon out in front, 21 to nothing. How do Oregon feel? The defensive line of Washington State. Defensive line of Washington State, they can't get off the blocks to make a tackle. Soli could come up to center and sneak it for a yard if he wanted to. And hand the ball into the corner, and Jeremiah Johnson strolls in for the end zone. Well, to be honest, I lost that ball, because <laughs> I thought Jeremiah Mazzelli had that football. Jeremiah just kind of got lost in the crowd there, came out in the end zone. Into the end zone for the touchdown. For the, for the touchdown. For the end zone. <laughs> And I'm here, like you, Anthony. I was looking for the ball. I was looking. But see, Jeremiah did a great job. He did a little stutter step at the line of scrimmage. I think he lost everybody, and then he shoots out. That's a big response right there, Anthony. They did it with the running game. Extra points up and good. They just ran it at that time. So that's the response they needed when the Cougars felt like they were getting themselves back in it with a long drive. <laughs> so I can't keep my headphones on. Third down and goal. They give it to Blunt. He strolls into the end zone. Touchdown, Oregon. Masoli almost brought him down. <laughs> but he kept his balance and scored. And that is a big blow after the Cougars had gained a little momentum. Ducks come back with two quick touchdowns. And with an extra point, it could be 35-7 to here at halftime. That's the, the Washington State's worst nightmare here is, is allowing the running game of Oregon to get going, and that's what's happening, the running game. Evenson on, the extra point is up and good, and it is 35-7 to with 48 seconds to go here in the first half. Again, I don't. the only thing that almost got blunt down was Masoli. Well, Masoli was, was <laughs> he sure did. <laughs> you, you know, well, he, he, I guess he wanted uh, Blunt to come run outside a little bit more. You know, I'll, I'll push you outside. Him a 
something about that pass to Jeffrey Mail. I'm not sure he didn't throw it straight down the line and not forwards. The little screen is set up. Williams with a blocker, and now he's got room. Williams to the 10, and they'll go into the end zone. Forget the penalty. Duck score. Touchdown, Oregon. As they come out and take the opening drive here in the second half into the end zone. But Jason Williams is such a big man. I keep saying he's a threat when the ball is in his hands. Uh, in the few catches that he does catch, it is hard to tackle him. And, and right here, there's not a chance with the big stiff arm, a great block, by, I believe, by Jeffrey Mayo to spring Jason Williams into the end zone. Matt Evenson on for the extra point. And it's up and through, and it's 42 to 7. Oregon with an opening drive here. That's the way you want to start the second half. When you get the, get the football, the receiver, the DB is looking at the receiver. At the three, here's Thomas. Hands it off to Johnson. He is across the goal line and in for the touchdown. Now it's getting ridiculous. 909 in the third, and it's 48 to 7. Well, now we'll see a, a lot of youngsters for Oregon get in the ball game, get some playing time. Now, I was kind of surprised to see Jeremiah Johnson still in the game at this point, but you know, you, you want to get your running back some reps. I mean, you got to get him in the game and let him run the football. Evenson off the extra point, which is good. Going to give him a chance to. Get Crenshaw in the game. Maybe the gentleman, Remini Alston, will get in the game. Some of the other guys as well. That might be his day. A very good day for Jeremiah Johnson, that's for sure. He's right around 100 yards for the day. And three touchdowns. The soldiers doing that. So we just want to send out a shout out to you. We appreciate you. And can't wait to see you at home here in the near future. And you're watching your Ducks today with a big win over Washington State. It's just a matter of how much it's going to be, Anthony. Here's Blunt, and he falls across for the touchdown. He's got three touchdowns to go along with Jeremiah Johnson's three touchdowns. <laughs> That's, is that why you're still staying in the game? Who can get the most touchdowns between the running backs? And, you know, and I'm, I'm scanning the sidelines, and, Joe, I don't see Remini Austin or Andre Crenshaw down there. I'm down there. So Crenshaw was in um, in this drive a little earlier on some of those Harper plays that he ran, and then I did see the gentleman down there a little while ago, number five. So, so they're there. They're there. I imagine we'll get to see him in the third quarter. Point is up and it's good. 56 to 7. Still got a whole quarter to go. 15 carries, 98 yards, three touchdowns for LeGarrette Blunt. They beat the score last year, right? What was the score last year? Goal at the seven yard line now. Thomas going to keep it. He cuts it back and he walks into the end zone. Darren Thomas with the touchdown. Yeah. Join the party, young man. Darren Thomas been waiting not to throw the football for a touchdown, to run the football for a touchdown. And he had a nice little cutback to get in the end zone. You know, going back to baseball, and I, I'm so happy that baseball is here. As you see, Darren Thomas, the cutback right there, but the running ability of, of him, and then there's the Oregon fans all happy with what the Ducks are doing. But, Joe, it, 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 it.